Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are doing a quick news update on Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI, and then we're going to move on and talk about Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, and then after that we're going to be talking about why Kathy Wood is selling NVIDIA stock to buy another artificial intelligence company, but don't worry, we are also going to be talking about NVIDIA as well, because NVIDIA is buying five other AI stocks right now to add to their portfolio, and then lastly, we're going to round out the video talking about SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOF. I. So if you hold NVIDIA, Palantir, SoFi, or Supermicro Computer, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you're new, comment your thoughts down below, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Recently, Supermicro Computer has popped by 20% in their share price to over $1,000 per share, and here's why. According to the article, Supermicro Computer stock has tripled in the last three months, and the recent pullback actually provides a good buying opportunity. But if you see on screen here, the company is actually surging in their share price because they are joining the S&P 500 index. Eventually, we are going to see the same enthusiasm for Palantir Technologies, but I will address that in another video. Right now, let's focus on Supermicro, ticker symbol SMCI, because the company continues to build its position in artificial intelligence servers, because the AI server market is expanding rapidly to where it's growing at a compounding annual growth rate, also known as a CAGR of 50% from now over the next three years. And according to this author's DCF model, model, or DCF simulation, it suggests that this company should be trading at a market cap of around $63 billion. And right now they are not doing that. They're currently trading at a market cap of $50.65 billion. And his scenario believes that there is 60% further upside in this company. So please be paying attention to this, but also be careful of a pullback, which could happen in this stock any day now. So please be careful and let me hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about Palantir Technologies, which is a big data and analytics company, which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government clients. Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR, has been one of the hottest AI stocks on Wall Street lately. However, their artificial intelligence momentum has since worn off a little bit. But now let me tell you three reasons why this company could continuously surge in their share price. Starting off with number one, the company will convince investors that their product has potential and value. And that's exactly what they're doing with their AI boot camps, so we can check that off. Next up, the CEO is continuously putting forth a vision that captivates Wall Street, and they have a very eccentric CEO who is none other than Alex Karp, which is doing just that. So let's check that off as well. And then lastly, number three, Palantir must demonstrate through its financial results that it can translate its potential into real dollars. And if you've paid attention to their earnings, they have done exactly that. So we can check off one, two, and three, which means that the future of this company is primed for future growth. But again, this company is trading at a rather high share price of $23.77, which puts their market cap at around $55 billion. To me, their accounting ratios are trading at premiums, and I would rather buy this company on a pullback. So right now, I have a hold rating on this company, but I am ready to buy this company on weakness as soon as it falls lower in their share price. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about Palantir down below in the comments. Now let's move over and talk about why Kathy Wood of ARK Invest, who is the CEO of ARK Investment Management, is selling NVIDIA stock. Like we said, Kathy Wood, who is the founder and chief investment officer at ARK Invest, is an asset manager, and she is selling NVIDIA stock to buy another artificial intelligence company, which surprised me because that company is none other than the social media company named Pinterest, ticker symbol P-I-N-S, ticker name PINS. Now, I want to point out that Kathy Wood is just taking profits on NVIDIA, and she is not selling her entire position, and then she is using these profits to reinvest capital into other AI companies. And this is what intelligent investors do. They take profits on companies that have recently surged, and then they use those profits to invest into other companies that they believe will increase in their price as well over the next 12 months. So investors should not be concerned about what Kathy Wood is doing with her NVIDIA stock right now. For me personally, I don't hold Pinterest in my portfolio, but I do hold NVIDIA, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for this company. Speaking of NVIDIA, let's talk about the world's largest semiconductor company by market cap, which of course is none other than NVIDIA themselves, ticker symbol NVDA. The reason why NVIDIA is in the news is because they recently bought five artificial intelligence stocks that I think investors need to be paying attention to. Since NVIDIA has passed a $2 trillion valuation, literally only Microsoft and Apple are more valuable companies than NVIDIA. So we need to be paying attention to what NVIDIA is investing into, because we also may want to invest into these AI companies. I will also let you know which of these companies I personally hold in my portfolio, starting off with number one, ARM Holdings, which I personally hold in my portfolio as well. 
For context, Arm Holdings helps the world's largest semiconductor companies design and develop their own advanced computing chips. Currently, I do believe that Arm Holdings is trading at a premium right now, but I continuously buy this company on weakness. Next up, let's move to the number two spot, which is Nano X Imaging. This company uses artificial intelligence to improve the efficiency of medical imaging, and therefore, this translates to helping their patients achieve better outcomes. So again, I actually like Nano X Imaging. I've done a report on it many years ago when I first started this channel, but in general, I do like this company. Now let's move on to some of their more risky picks, such as Recursion Pharmaceuticals, which is using artificial intelligence to reshape the pharmaceutical discovery industry. In my opinion, there's really nothing special here because many other companies are doing that exact same thing, which is why I personally do not hold this company in my portfolio. Next, let's talk about Two Simple Holdings, which develops advanced autonomous self-driving technologies for the trucking industry. And for me, I already own Tesla as well as Uber and Google, or rather Alphabet, which all kind of focus on that same thing, which is why I wouldn't even invest into this company if I could. And then lastly, we have SoundHound AI, which develops voice recognition and conversational AI technologies. However, I have the same problem with this company that I do with Recursion Pharmaceuticals because other companies are also developing this same type of technology. Overall, I do like NVIDIA as a company, and I think it's interesting that they are buying those other companies which we just mentioned. But now let's round out the video talking about SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol S-O-F-I, ticker name SoFi. SoFi is a fintech company which essentially operates as a digital bank, and they have been growing their company very aggressively. They have brought in strong operating and financial metrics, and they continue to accelerate their business and their stock price. Currently, SoFi trades at 30 times their net earnings for full year 2026, which I think is rather positive. And if the author of this article's calculations are true, that would imply 63.4% upside over the next two years for this company, which is a great payday for investors. Therefore, the author concludes that SoFi is not actually as expensive as many people think, and that's why he has a buy rating on this company. I hope you've liked this very quick news update because I wanted to get this video out very, very quickly. So if you want more of these, go ahead and annihilate that like button, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below, and with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video and look forward to longer stock news updates, which I will post right after this video.